deserve to have access to the medicine we would like to take for ourselves to improve our quality of life. You shouldn't have to fight for it. But that's what we're doing here today. We're here to make ourselves seen, make ourselves known. A lot of this has kind of been um, a specific reaction to um, a lot of new legislation that's being introduced by our legislators. Um, kind of in, within the context of years now of um, moral panic surrounding trans people. One such law seeks to um, ban access to health care, trans health care for everybody up to 26 years old, which would personally affect me. I fall within that um, age range. Today we're aiming to bring community together and then also to show, like, to show out and just be like, hey, we're here, we're gonna be here, and that's not gonna change. HRT isn't the only form of healthcare that's gonna be banned, but it is the big one that they're going after. Hormone replacement therapy is extremely important, and any kind of gender-affirming healthcare is extremely important. Um, for a lot of us, it is one of the only things that can really help us feel at home in our body. And uh, I've been on HRT for over five years now. Um, I'm over the cutoff, but my partner isn't. Not to use this word lightly, Working to ban HRT and other trans health care is an uh, act of genocide. People will not survive to 26 to get that. We're going to stand in the gallery, take up as much space as possible, and be as visible as possible. The second pod is going to be on the fourth floor at the House Chambers. That's where all the House members and all the Senate members and Governor Stitt are going to walk through.